one of the metaphors I use is that we are all seeing the world from our particular point of view. We see the world through a window. And here I say two things. First, the more cleaner the window is, the less I see the window and the glass. And the more I am in tools and in love with what I see. So I don't see my window. I see it through the window. And I need my fellow who tell me, look here, you are looking through a window. But then I have to tell him, sorry, you also look at the window. And then, and then we compare notes. And in Great Bar we see the same landscape, but perhaps we see it a different way also. And perhaps I say, no, no, I would like to see that, and all right. So we need each other. But here's another thing with the matter of the window. I see through my window, and I cannot say that I do not see what I see through my window. I don't see through the window of my neighbor. But if I love my neighbor, which I think is not bad, then I will have to hear the description of what my neighbor say, and then say, well, sorry, I don't see that, because I see the window. But I hear you telling me something else. Well, what do I discover? I discover two things. I discover that the other, my neighbor, doesn't see the same world as I see. But I also I discover that I don't see the whole world. Because unless he's a fool and I'm a fanatic, or I haven't heard him, I hear, and you remember that St. Paul said that he, faith comes from hearing, I hear the other telling me something about the world, about reality, about he or she sees through the window, that I don't. And then, well, I say, well, then the world is much nicer than I thought. I thought I was seeing the whole thing, picture, and now you are telling me that the thing is a is little, well, I don't like more or like better. It's an enrichment, it's a challenge. And here begins the interreligious dialogue. You say what you hear, you say what you believe, you say you experience, and are ready at the same time to hear the other telling other narratives, other beliefs, other experiences. And then we dialogue. I need you to tell me that I'm looking through a window. Nobody alone can find anything. We need each other. And today, in the present day political, economical and world situation, no single man, no single system, no single religion can deal with the human condition and claim to be and to offer the solution of the problems of our planet. So either solidarity on all levels or we go to a catastrophe. Individualism or collective individualism. We Catholics, we fellows, we the Negroes, we the whites, we whoever, the scientists, the believers. It's gone. We need to become more and more aware that humanity is one and that nobody has the monopoly on these ultimate things or on truth.